In the beginning of Book Nine of Paradise Lost, Milton as narrator turns from friendly conversation between heavenly beings and mortals to the tragic notes of humankind's disobedience and fall, a tale more heroic than those of Virgil and Homer. With guile, Satan sneaks back into the garden, and once inside, he possesses the body of a sleeping serpent. Adam and Eve arise in the morning and discuss the amount of work they need to do. Eve suggests that they work separately to get more done, but Adam wants her close by, and he's now wary of Satan. After a lengthy exchange, they separate, leaving Adam concerned. Satan, as the serpent, follows Eve, plotting the destruction of all humanity through her. Satan watches Eve and is so captivated by her beauty that he rethinks his plan. But back on task, he flatters her and tempts her with the forbidden fruit and leads her toward the tree of knowledge. Eve knows she must obey God's law or die, but she later reasons that the snake ate and lives. Satan's eloquence reassures Eve that God would never punish her for eating fruit, and his flattery plays on her desire for greater independence and knowledge. She plucks a fruit, takes a bite, and nature sighs in woe. Now fallen, Eve debates whether to offer Adam the fruit. Eating it has raised her up to his level, and she treasures the idea of being his equal. She finds Adam and explains that she has eaten the forbidden fruit and her eyes have been opened. He knows they are lost, but still Adam resolves to eat the fruit because he doesn't want to live without her. We're told, Adam was not deceived, but overcome with female charm. Adam finds the fruit and Eve amazing, says they should have enjoyed its delightful powers earlier, and they take their newfound knowledge into the woods, inflamed by the carnal desire of lust rather than marital love. They wake up later with new awareness of sin and their loss of paradise. They recognize their nakedness and cover themselves in shame. Adam and Eve argue, blaming each other and admitting no fault. This climactic book weds high epic tragedy with domestic dispute, and our main heroic characters are married laborers who work in a garden. Of course, they are the first humans, representative of all humankind, and like Satan, they fall. Satan's relatively easy seduction of Eve might conform to unflattering ideas of women and wives, but her choice of knowledge over obedience isn't strictly gendered. She shares with Satan the central crime of Milton's epic, disobedience.